Welcome to Pipes Out of the House. In this video, we're taking a look at the AGP Tech Lavelia microphone that I picked up on Amazon for a measly £14. Now, this particular microphone came with a few accessories, so I'm going to take the product out of the packaging. We'll take a look at what we got, and I'll give you my initial thoughts on the product. Then I'm going to link this up to my GoPro Hero 10 Black. We'll do some sound tests, first of all indoors where it's nice and quiet. Then we'll go outdoors with a bit of background noise. And then finally, because I bought this principally for motor vlogging, I'm going to link this up to the GoPro Hero 10 Black and rig it up to my helmet. We'll get out on the bike, do a quick motor vlog, and hopefully by the end of this video we'll know if this thing's any good or simply fit for the bin. So I'll start by quickly taking this out of the packaging. And the first thing you notice is that this particular microphone comes with this faux leather case. Okay, so having lined all the products up together, the first thing to note really is that for £14, assuming all these accessories work, then I would already say it's good value for money, purely because if you were to buy these individually, I imagine they cost you a few quid each anyway. So as mentioned earlier, we got the case to put everything in, and we got the 3.5mm straight adapter, and this presumably is to put a TRS connector into the end and convert it to a TRRS. If you don't know what that means, basically the TRRS is the one with the three lines on the end like that, and the TRS has the two lines. You've got the USB-C headphone jack adapter, which is for using the microphone with a mobile phone. Then here you've got the 3.5 millimeter right angle adapter, which is the TRRS to TRS connector, which is the one that I'm gonna need to connect this microphone to my GoPro. We've got two clips. These are just to attach the microphone to your clothes. You've got a spare foam cover for the microphone. The other one is actually on the microphone by there. We've got one dead cap, which goes over the microphone if you're using outdoors for wind noise reduction. You've got the user manual, which explains how everything works. And then finally, we've got the 3.5 millimeter TRRS Lavelier microphone. Like I said earlier, this comes with the foam cover. It's got a little Velcro strap to hold it together like that. When I say TRRS, again, like I mentioned earlier, that's the three rings. And to use this with the GoPro, you basically have to use this connector here. You push that into the end like that, and that should allow us to then plug this into the TRS, which is the two rings, which goes into the media mod on my GoPro, which I'll show you later in the video. So off camera, I've been having to fiddle around with all the leads and accessories. And the first thing I noticed is these foam covers, they're a little bit, bit rigid. I mean, this one now, I've sort of manipulated it into shape, and they do come round if you leave them out of the bag for a while. But I just noticed they were a bit let's say not great fit in they're you know a little bit loose they do stay on and i don't know if that's meant to cover the whole of the microphone or not but it almost seems a little bit short so if you look there it doesn't quite cover it you've got to stretch it over that little bit of mesh there on the microphone and that might just be me the other thing i noticed was this when it came was a little bit loose there now i don't know if that's meant to be loose i did take it off and it is just a cap but the further you screw that down the further it covers that top bit of mesh which presumably is one of the microphones so i'm not really sure but my gut feeling is with this i would want it screwed up tight because i'm going to be using it for motor vlogging as well if that rattles round like that then i imagine that that is going to probably cause a bit of noise so i'm going to tighten that up we're now going to take a look at the dead cat now this dead cat again on initial thoughts it's not as good quality as other ones i've got with my Rode go lavelia microphone which is kind of purpose built and fits nice and snug this is kind of a bit squashed again you push that in there you can't even get it in initially so what you have to do is sort of manipulate it into place and when it goes in it, it will fit but it just feels a little bit loose so i'm not sure if you were using this if you need a little bit of tape over the end or not you just have to kind of keep twisting like that and once you've got it twisted you you can get it in but it just always feels a bit like it's just kind of sat over it i imagine this is going to work but it's not as good as maybe more expensive microphones. But you know, again, these things do cost a few quid if you buy them separately on their own. So maybe as part of the kit, still good value for money. We'll see later when we test it out. Now as for how these accessories fit together, I was quite surprised. They actually click into place nicely. So that's nice and solid. If I place this into the USB-C, same again. Nice click into place, nice and solid. And then finally with this 90 degree adapter, again nice and solid it will rotate but it's nice and firm the only one thing i noticed is when i used my gopro media mod which is this here is that when you place this lead into there it feels like it wants to push that little bit further i say it holds in place but you can see there it's just not 
quite tight. So off camera, I've just been testing some of the leads and I have actually come across one problem and it was this USB-C lead. I've tried to use this with my Samsung phone and I actually said that it's not compatible. And then when I looked in the instruction manual, it does actually say that this should support phones like Apple, Xiaomi and Maizu, assuming I pronounced that correctly. But if you look up here, it does say with Sony or Series, LG or Series and Samsung, consult with after sales service. So if you are using this specifically to link up to your phone, then it's probably worth checking this out first. And actually this is a good time to ask that if you've had the same problem or you know a good workaround for this situation, please let us know in the comment section below. That's always useful for both me and anyone else watching this video. So before we do the sound test on the GoPro Hero 10, I'm just gonna show you how you actually connect this up. And the only way to do this really is two things. There's an adapter that you can buy, which was suitable for some of the older GoPros, and I think it's still compatible with this now, or you go down the road of buying this media mod. So first of all, you just have to unclip the side off the GoPro by pulling that out there, and that just comes off like that. And if you pull this clip down on the media mod, sort of push it open like that, you can see there's a little connector in there, and that then pushes into that connector on the GoPro. So you just slide this in, Like that, give it a squeeze, push that over and click it into place. Now when you turn that over, you can see you've got these three ports there. Now this bottom one is actually the one that we need to connect the external microphone. So taking the microphone, we need to place that into our 90 degree adapter and that is the TRRS and you're converting that into a TRS, which is what it needs to work with the GoPro. So you lift that up and then we just place that into the connector like that and push into place. So with your GoPro turned on and the Lavalia microphone plugged into place, this will override the media mod microphone. So to adjust any settings on the external microphone or the Lavalia microphone, we need to swipe down, then we swipe right. You go to preferences, then as you go down here, mods, you can now see it says standard mic next to media mod. And that's just saying that you've got a microphone plugged in. If you click on that, you now got the options for standard mic, standard mic plus, as you scroll up, you've got powered mic, powered mic plus, and line in. Now, is what we want is standard mic. Now, if you do standard mic plus, it's what it does is adds, I think it's something like 20 decibels. There's some sort of setting on it, but I think in this situation, it's gonna be so sensitive, it's just gonna to be too loud. So the setting I'm putting on today is just standard mic like that. Then we can simply go back, and we now know that our settings are all set up for the microphone. I've got it on standard mic, and you can see there, this is actually picking up the sound on the GoPro there, and it's not going into the orange or the red. I'm sure if I tap that, there we go, it goes into orange and red, and you can see then that's when it's too loud. So I imagine this is gonna be okay. And one last thing before we start testing this is I'm gonna take one of the clips that came provided with the microphone, now we can clip that to our clothes. So I'm doing the indoor test now. I've got the lav mic just clipped to my chest by there, you can see. Now if I rustle that round a little bit, I imagine you're getting lots of horrible noise now. I thought I'd do that just to test. When I shake this top around, how sensitive is it? Let me know, see what you think. So here we go, here's the indoor test. I'll just walk up and down these stairs a bit like that. Um, yeah, so I think the next test to do now is to get outside and we'll try it out there with a bit of wind noise. We're outside and it's particularly windy today, so it'll be an interesting test for this just to see how it's performing. I'm gonna actually go out here in the wind and just try and get a little bit of wind on that microphone. So let me know what you think of this. Now what I'm gonna do because we're outside is actually stick the wind sock on in a second or the dead cat so i've just put the dead cat on so it'll be interesting to know what this sounds like in the wind right so we've got a lot of wind blowing now on this dead cat hopefully that is absorbing a bit of that sound and getting rid of the wind noise there we go that's a nice gust of wind so it'll be interesting to see what this sounds like when we get back at an edited down so now finally the next test is going to be out on the motorbike with a bit of a motor vlog so i'm just going to quickly show you my setup for the camera and the microphone in my helmet you unclip the padding inside here and on this one you've got like little button clips so i'll unclip that there so taking the microphone and this bundle i've got all this wrapped up in the velcro so i'm just going to wedge that behind here apologies for the crying in the background that's my son i think he's tired he's not on his own my partner is down there with him so um please don't ring social services yeah i've got the microphone just literally wedged behind the pad about halfway down all the cables are wedged further towards the back so the way i attach the gopro is by using this and i think it's called a tasner uh, mount i'll put a link to all the products i'm using as well in the description section below if you're interested in these you strap this over your helmet like that 
pull the straps through, clip them back in, and then you can just tighten them into place. Then your GoPro just goes into that mount by there, like that. Using the screw that comes with the GoPro, just tighten that up. Then you just move that to your desired position when you're out on the bike. That's a bit of trial and error. But now with it still loose, I can put that lead in there like that. Tilt the camera up. You just tighten that into position. And there's your GoPro setup. So that's ready to go. So we're going to start the sound test here. For reference, we're currently doing 30 miles an hour, okay? And also, the mount I'm using is the one where I can't quite close the visor, unfortunately. So we have got a bit of wind noise over the top. And I'll be honest with you, this particular helmet, I wouldn't say it's particularly great for wind noise underneath either. But, like I said, it's a good test, really, because I guess it's worst-case scenario. So if it does come out sounding good, then I suppose we're on to a winner. If it's awful, then maybe we're not. Give it a second, then we'll go out and we'll do something somewhere else a bit faster. like i mean i suppose these are the sort of speeds you're going to be doing when you're just cruising around town maybe in the uk certainly i don't know what it's like in other countries 40s 30s obviously just now i was out in the lanes that was just doing all sorts of speeds i've tried to do a bit of a variety today and hopefully we've got a rough idea of what this microphone sounds like okay well i'm stuck at a red light so the perfect way to start this test again it's a different day the weather is actually a lot worse today it looks nice but it has been really really windy i've actually now got the dead cat on the microphone and the other amendment i made is to the bracket that i was using i've actually adjusted it so the buckles have gone backwards and i've actually now been able to close the visor completely i've made sure the vents are all shut which i did have shut before and so it'd be a good test really hopefully we've improved the microphone situation but the wind is a lot worse so if the microphone sounds better after this test then we really do know it's work because the conditions are worse so i'm going to start now we're at 30 miles an hour so i just want you to hear this at 30 miles an hour how does this sound 30 miles an hour how is the sound is it windy isn't it windy now i'm going to pick up a little bit now we're going to go up to 40 miles an hour i've actually got a car behind me waiting impatiently so here we go 40 miles an hour has this improved what's the sound like i mean it's very very windy obviously we've got the wind noise coming underneath the helmet hopefully we've reduced it over the helmet 40 miles an hour what does this sound like i'm going to get on the dual carriageway now and i'm going to try and speed up and we'll see what this sounds like if we pick up some speed so right i'll stick at 60 now 60 miles an hour like i said it's very windy around me plus the wind noise from the helmet what does this sound like i'm probably shaking a little bit i've actually got a bit of rain coming down now as well so 60 miles an hour what does this sound like is the sound quality any good have we got any popping any cracking let me know in the comments below let's speed up to 70. so there we go we're at 70 miles an hour on the dual carriageway what does that sound like does that sound any better any worse have we got any popping so there we are 25 miles an hour going down to 20 miles an hour we've basically got the engine ticking over now what does this sound like oh look at this weather i gotta get home man it's raining so I've given this microphone a really thorough test. I've brought the footage home, I've uploaded it to my laptop and I've had a good listen back and I've come up with a few simple conclusions. If you're buying this microphone for use indoors with your video camera, your laptop or maybe even your mobile phone, assuming you've got the right lead that works of course, then it's probably absolutely fine. If you intend to use this outdoors, then I'm a bit 50-50 as it performed quite well but the moment the wind picked up, the wind noise wasn't great even with that dead cat. And then finally for motor vlogging well anything over about 40 or 50 miles an hour and there was popping and clicking so unfortunately it's not the one for me i have since however bought a purple panda lavelio microphone which i intend to test in exactly the same way in a separate video so watch your space if you found this video useful in any way at all then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for regular notifications i've been pouse out of the house ta-ta farewell <laughs>